Color Changers Race Tow Truck Tom is one of the more obscure releases from the original Color Changers line. I think a lot of people forget that this guy exists simply because it's such an obscure Cars character in the first place, and also because it's just not a very memorable color changer. If anything, it would probably be remembered for being uh, one of the lamer ones, because the blue on Tom doesn't change color, the yellow on his side does. And that's not all that interesting, making him one of very few color changers whose primary color doesn't change. The only other one I can think of is color changers Doug Crankle from last year, who was also uh, heavily disliked, but he looks absolutely gross and I don't like remembering that he exists, so we're not going to talk about him anymore. I haven't been buying many color changers recently, just because the last few waves have been full of repeat characters that I don't need in my collection again. But uh, when Robin Tail Strider was putting together a package of cars to send me for my birthday, I was looking through some potential duplicates he has or cars he didn't want, and he said he didn't want this color changer race tow truck Tom because he doesn't really collect color changers. And I asked him, are you sure? Because like a lot of original color changers, this guy goes for quite a bit of money nowadays. He goes for like $100 in box and uh, quite a bit loose, but Robin said he didn't want him because he doesn't collect color changers. Also, as you can see, this guy's a little broken. His, uh, his light bar is missing, but Robin found him, I think, at a flea market a few years ago, and he said that it's not that uncommon of an item in his area over in the Netherlands, so he offered to send this one to me, and now he's mine! Haha! -ha! And even though he's broken, I certainly don't mind because, you know, as I've said before <laughs> several times with these Robin, uh, these cars that Robin sent me, um, a lot of these are items I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase, so I don't mind if they're a little scuffed up. They're used, it's fine. They're toys they're meant to be played with. I don't mind if they're a little bit damaged, um, even if it's a rare item like Race Tow Truck Tom here. Anyway guys, welcome back to the review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Color Changers Race Tow Truck Tom, so let's get started. This is uh, Tom's 2018 Thailand release. So... I mean, the colors certainly aren't going to be consistent between these two, but just by looking at him, you could get a uh, pretty easy gauge of what he's supposed to look like if the light bar were on him. I'll throw a picture of him on screen right now if I can. It's very hard to find images of these 2010 color changers. A lot of them didn't have product photos or anything, but uh, yeah, if you saw nothing on screen right now, then I I'm sorry. That's because I couldn't find anything. I know you can see he has a pretty close match to the original. Again, I assume he would be a closer match to... The original Made in China variant, not the Thailand one, but hey, this is the one I have, so we'll have to make do. On his side, you could see this whole part, and honestly, a really nice dark red color. It is a shame, though, that this is the only part of him that changes color, but I don't really mind all that much, because I think it looks pretty cool. It would be super cool if the towing apparatus changed to red to match that, but you know they would never do that, and to this day, they wouldn't do that. I mean, look at the king, right? His spoiler didn't change color, so, you know. When cars have bigger plastic accessories on them, unfortunately, they rarely change color, unless they're Doug Crankle, in which case that's the only uh, part that changes color, and it looks gross, and I can't believe I mentioned color changers Doug Crankle twice in this video. We got the Piston Cup Racing Series logo there, the whole tow cable apparatus, which is pretty much identical, you can see some of the paint is uh, missing, and honestly, I'm going to be real with you, th this part looks like it was chewed on a little, doesn't it? Just saying. Whoever owned this before Robin had it. Little suspicious, guys. Also a little suspicious is the fact that he hasn't changed color. Uh, it's been disgustingly hot outside for the past few days. It's been so hot that I've barely been able to film videos. Okay, I've wanted to film Cars Adventures for the past four days and I haven't been able to because it's so hot that if I turn off my air conditioner, which I have a window unit, I have to shut it off to film so that you don't get, you know, that. This, this background noise in every single video. Uh, yeah, I haven't been able to film. Because if I shut it off, it immediately becomes burning hot in this room. So, despite the super warm weather as of late, this hasn't changed back. But before Robin sent this to me, I had him check to make sure it does still change color. And he said it does. So, I mean, we're going to have to see. Surprisingly, nothing on the back of this guy. No license plate. No, like, caution stripes like Mater has or anything. There's a look at the other side and a look at the base. You can see he just put together with screws as he has a plastic item. But now, let's see him change color. If he does. Please still work, Tom. Please. Please. Alright, we got our hot and cold water. It feels like it's been forever since I've done this. 
I've not been buying many color changers recently because like I said earlier in the video, the last few waves have all just been reuses of characters we've already gotten and I just don't think those are worth getting for my collection. I don't need more than one color changer Fabulous Hudson Hornet and I certainly don't need more than one color changer's Revo Koss. Um, yeah, anyway, let's dip this guy in. This is actually the first time I've ever reviewed an older color changer on the channel. When I was first starting out my channel, I made the stupid decision to repaint a lot of my older color changers because I didn't think they worked anymore. They did, I just wasn't using ice water. Uh, and now a lot of those are very expensive, so yeah. Anyway, here you go, here he is. Now I've changed back to yellow and it's not a very bright yellow. Maybe he needs to, to soak in there a little longer, but I was hoping it would match up with the towing apparatus and that's just not the case. It's a pretty, is he already changing back to red? No. It's not really the the yellow color I was hoping for. I mean, look at how bright it is there. And then look at it here. Perhaps it's become faded with time. I don't know. We really have no way of knowing. But you could dip him back in. Here. I definitely prefer how this looks when it's all red. It just makes it look a bit more unique. Now we'll get him halfway there. And we'll wrap up the review. So there you go. Color Changers Race Tow Truck Tom. I wonder how many people will see in the thumbnail. Why is there grass in my ice? <laughs> I wonder how many people will see the thumbnail and not even be able to tell that he changed color because uh, very little of him does. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.